Hello everybody, I'm THG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to finish our trade plugin and stay tuned till the end because I'm gonna give you a little challenge what you need to code yourself and if you do not code that there's essentially a part missing of the player GUI, the trade GUI so stay tuned to the end so last time we left off at the bucket of broadcast message of trade accepted and now we are actually gonna accept the trade we're gonna finish the trade off so remove that line and create a new method caller of course we're gonna create the method finish trade and which uh, is gonna take an inventory so we do p dot get open inventory uh, because that gives us the inventory view so uh, the whole inventory including our custom and the player's inventory themselves and we only want to pass the top inventory so the one that is actually the trading inventory just like that and we're going to create the method over here public void finish and it's not a nationality trade it's the end of the trade of course inventory inf just like that and inventory inf is going to take a couple of things first we're going to create a list of type human entity why because uh, we want to get the viewers of our inventory equals inf to get viewers so that we know who is currently viewing the inventory so next thing you want to do is you want to create two player variables player one and player two and note that I'm not setting any values for that because um, we do not know yet who of the viewers is player one and who is player two so we're gonna do if and now we're gonna get the, the, the trading players hash map again so trading players dot contains trading players dot contains key because it should be uh, player one if it contains the key of wait let me cast this to player and then we're gonna do viewers dot get the first index item and if it does it means that the contains key of our hash map uh, means that player one is inside of here so player one is actually gonna be uh, the viewers dot get zero. I don't know if this makes any sense, but player two will be viewers dot get the first, like that. And of course, this will return error because it returns a human entity, and we just want to cast that to a player, just like so. And what we want to do is, if it's not so else. If it's not inside of there, just copy this. The only thing you want to change is this. So that the players is actually around. So if the the first one is not inside of the key list, the keys over here, it's going to be player one, uh, two. Next thing we can do is just close off the inventory. So player one dot close inventory and player two dot close inventory because uh, they do not have to have any of the trade inventory again anymore so we just close them and what is now is because we need to get the first nine items and give them to player two and we need to get the last nine items and we give them to player one so to do that I'm gonna create a for loop int i equals zero so we start at zero i should be less than nine if you count the slots it's like the slots start at uh, zero then it's one two three four five six seven eight and then the next row starts with nine until 17 etc uh, etc et so what we are gonna do is we're gonna uh, do a for loop of int i equals zero and then we're gonna increase by one every iteration just like that and there's actually a neat trick because uh, well not trick I mean there's actually some stupid bug inside of bucket because if the item of the inventory, so inventory .cat item uh, of i, so at slot number i equals no, it will return an error when you try to add it. So we first need to check if it's not equal to null, so invert that with an exclamation mark. And if the first item, so in our case it starts with zero, the first item is not zero, uh, it's not null, we're going to give it to player two. So player two dot get inventory dot add item and then we're gonna do inf dot get item at place why i 
it may not be the most efficient way but it's just clear for the tutorials sake so we're gonna do the same with that except we're gonna add 18 to it so that player one so change this to player one and at 18 over here so it's gonna get the item at i uh, but it's 18 slots further and if you count you will notice that's actually two rows further so that's it actually for finishing the trade there's just one last thing to do because we do not want to have a uh, trading players hash map that keeps on growing and growing and growing so after every trade is uh, accepted and trade is completely finished we just want to do get the hash map trading players dot remove and then we are going to do object key it's going to be player one and that's it that's how simple the trade is and yeah that's actually it for today's episode hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like if you have any suggestions or comments or whatever just do that in the suggestions or i mean in the comment section or click on the link the discord link in the description box and for the challenge uh let's just imagine now what if one of the two players uh, closes their inventory uh the trade cannot be accepted and the other player and you do not get your items back so you need to create a kind of way that if one player closes the inventory the other player's inventory will close as well and they both get their items back and just draw a lot of inspiration <laughs> from what i just created so a little hint is get viewers it's actually this but kind of different just change it so that it's actually giving back to items instead of trading them and instead of the uh, inventory click event you need to uh, use another event i'm not gonna spoil it you have to figure it out yourself and if you have any questions about that just do it on the discord as well thanks for watching see you next time